Hi guys, welcome back to the MVM show. I'm Titus, your host, and today I am with the Flywiz Collective gentlemen. So, we've got Matt from High Prairie Sportsman, Joram from Duck Gun Chronicles, Thomas from Virginia Outdoors Unlimited, who I spent all day with and I can't even almost remember. <laughs> you're sick of me. You're sick of you know, it's because he was sleeping so much, I honestly almost forget. <laughs> Did you and wipe then, the drool off his chin? Dude, I dabbed it with a little napkin, gave him a hot towel. And then we got Josh from Outdoor Limits and Elliot from Freelance Duck Hunting sitting to my right over here. If you guys want, you haven't, you can check out the YouTube channel, the MVM Show, and watch it as well if you guys want to see everybody. So today we want to do, we'll kind of go around the table. Who, Matt, or uh, Matt, <laughs> Josh, we've been having a lot of sleep deprivation, guys. I'm just going to let you know right now. But Not me. Josh, you want to talk about Tetra real quick, our <laughs> yeah, partners? Yeah, I, I, I can cover Tetra. So Tetra, you got to hear the hunt, man. It's the top of the line best hearing protection on the market when it comes to uh, duck hunting and turkey hunting and pretty much any type of hunting. So whether you're chasing ducks, deer, turkey, they got you covered with their amp pods or their alpha shields. If you've got hearing loss, they got you covered for hearing those gobbles and elk bugles and all that stuff. But they've also got the alpha shields, which everybody has tried out here, Mm -hmm. which is their uh, protection model. So when you're hunting ducks... You're going to lose your hearing without uh, hearing protection. Mm-hmm. So you got to use hearing protection because gunshots and loud calling, that's going <coughs> to damage your hearing. Mm-hmm. It's irreversible, and it won't ever come back. You had mentioned about what it can cause. You just said that, too, about what oh, it yeah. can cause. And we were talking, Elliot, about your dad, too, and stuff. So it's – I mean, you have both accepted that's just the way it's going to be. We had talked about that. So I think we're going to make take this very seriously. And I, it's comfortable. We were talking about how comfortable it was the day. You forget it's in there, actually. Because some stuff I've worn, it actually starts hurting your ears a little bit. But I didn't have any problems with that. I don't know if you guys did or anything. Some issues? Well, I, I fell asleep with one in, but <laughs> <laughs> that's probably why. Yeah. But it, it wasn't bad. No, All right. no, I like them. Well, Jordan, you want to talk about Motion Ducks? They're another partner for this collab. Oh, yeah. Uh, Motion Ducks. All of us have used Motion Ducks for a while now. Um, perfect for those no wind days. Throw it out in your spread. You get the ultimate spreader seven ducks, or just the standard one with four. Um, it's just your jerk rig on steroids, and uh, you know, um, no wind days. That's your perfect solution. You know, there's there's plenty of days where we're where we're uh, out there and it's you know sub ten miles per hour, and, and mm-hmm. it's it's perfect for uh, getting those ducks to finish in. So you know, definitely big thanks out there to Motion yeah. Ducks um, and their partner with with this collab as well. Yeah. Uh, you want to talk about the finisher, Thomas? Yeah, yeah. I think the finisher will probably get some use tomorrow, maybe. Um, Closer? Yeah. yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so the finisher is basically just a, a little tool. It's made out of uh, brass, I believe, and you uh, use it to dispatch birds in a quick and humane manner. It just slips in the back of the back in the skull and dispatches birds quickly. I've been using it now for three or four years. Mm-hmm. And, you know, we get those big, big geese back east in Virginia, uh, and they can be a pain in the butt to wring their necks. So <laughs> slip that thing in and uh, does the deed real quick. So um, I think it's a tool we've all been using as well, and uh, we'll be uh, continuing to use it. And also Old Town. You want to talk about that, Elliot? Sure. Um, Old Town has um, multiple boats that work really, really well for waterfowl hunting and <laughs> And uh, a lot of us in this group, we do a lot of layout hunting and, and out of the kayaks. And I know Josh likes the top water and I use the one nineteen and what's what's the name of the what's the name of them? Big, Big water. Big, Big water. water. And all of these boats are tested by us and work really, really well for waterfowl hunting. They're they're light, they're durable, they're just a really good option. Now, there are a lot of um, people in the last five, ten years are transitioning to kayaks or canoe kayak hybrids for their you know duck boat of choice and so if if you're going down that road i would say certainly go take a look at um what old town has in their lineup because they've got a lot of really really good boats that that pair well with various layout blinds and and it's just a fantastic option if you're going that direction also with fishing yeah like yeah most of the kayaks are geared towards fishing i've got the topwater 120 pdl that pedal drive system when you're crappie fishing. Yeah, Josh was literally 
but working circles, circles around, around you. Around me. We went out white You're bass fishing. Stroke. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> you we, were went, like, we went to white bass runs. Yeah, That's right. we, we were running circles around me with that paddle thing, just taunting and mocking me. <laughs> 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 Which you're really good at doing, by the way. <laughs> you caught the most fish that day. Yeah. Uh, no not, man, not it's me. awesome. I mean, they also came out with the uh, Sportsman line. Which is the 119, the big water, uh, mm-hmm. kind of a change up from the top water. <coughs> but um, they got a powered by Minn Kota model. So it's got a I've seen that. That is, sw- <laughs> that is it's, sweet. It's sweet. That's what they got the transom. They made it flat in the back, right? Where you could put the. That's no, a, it's, that's it's a different like, one. It's like the pedal drive, but it drops in a trolling motor between your legs. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> yeah, but they have the one with the transom set up where it's flat in the back. Did you see that one? Okay. That's yeah. a brand new one. Yes. I it's not, it's, it's bad looking. It's a, it's oh, like, it's like a new, sport I guess. boat. But it's so, shorter, though. Yeah, it's like a sport boat. I don't know mm-hmm. if you guys are familiar with that. But it's a, uh, I mean, I know they got those up in, like, it's Michigan. Bad, so it's it's a it's a really big canoe with a flat transom. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I've seen that one. Because yeah. Ryan yeah, was buzzing around on that thing. I was I, like, oh, yeah. I want that. Oh, yeah, you can drop a, a little, like, I don't know, six horse on the back of yeah. it. Yeah. Maybe even smaller. Mm-hmm. Yeah. run that. Yeah. So I think that covers all the... Our partners for this, right? Uh, body body furnace. furnace. Oh, and Body Furnace. Last one. Sorry, I should have sure. did that differently. Oh, well. Yeah, no problem. So um, Body Furnace is a belt that you can put on, and you charge it up, and the front part of it heats up. And you can pair it with an app. It goes up to 138 degrees. And the thing about it is it, it, it belts on with Velcro, really, really strong Velcro, and it's really flexible. It's really light. So I've got a blind bag. Um, and I just put it in there, and if I'm feeling cold, I strap that on and turn it up to 138 degrees, and it's just, it's a really, really interesting and nice product. Um, you know what you need to try with that? Put it on your back by your kidneys. Yeah. That would be, that would, you know, when my son was using it, he was like, what if I had two of these? <laughs> <laughs> one on the front and one on the back. But yeah, yeah. And I had it out. Um, I was warming my hand. Though I was going to say, you could put it in your, po- like in your hoodie pocket, yeah. roll it up and put your hands that's in what, it too. That's what he ended up doing. Yeah. Is I'm, he put it in his pocket and was using it as a hand warmer. I'm yeah. trying to figure out how I can get two and put them in, in my waiter boots, keep my feet warm. <laughs> <laughs> but it, yeah, it's, it's the body yeah. furnace. Um, and it's a really unique product and um you should certainly check it out if, if you're the type that gets cold in cold weather which i think we all are but it's a good yeah. product yeah well let's jump right into something we can go wherever else after this but we were talking about what's going to happen to matt <laughs> this to, possibly tonight i think it's tonight it i think fun. it's the best night or half asleep is going to even Aww. be funner you know what i'm saying <laughs> we're slap happy <laughs> <laughs> Poor guy. Well, maybe we should do it before the hunt nah. to wake him up in the morning. Oh, <laughs> oh no, <laughs> that's too brutal. You, you know what, though? Yeah. He won't realize. It, like he'll hurt, but he'll wake up and like, Let's what happened? It. What if we did did it between flocks? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 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 Don't you have to heat up the wax? Yeah. Body, yeah, I mean, body, body furnace. furnace. The first, the first time. <laughs> Lay that thing in there. The first time Matt instinctively yells, hey, and he runs Get the up. Bird. Oh. Yeah, let's, let's hear about that on your hunt today. Yes. What happened? Okay. All right. So. Well, first of all, to explain what's happening exactly. let's to Matt. Cover that. Because <laughs> everyone's like, what? Oh, yeah. Matt just got what? quiet. Yeah. He went, yeah. s- words went calm. Right, so yeah. I'll, I'll explain this. So <laughs> back in the day, this was about a year ago, um, challenged. Two years ago, it was a long time ago. It was like a year and a half ago. Challenged Matt to a race to 10K subscribers on YouTube. So that was the challenge. Um, at the time, I was like oh, 1,200 behind you or something like that. And uh, so anyways, so we both, you know, get up to 10K. It's, you know, back and forth, back and forth. Lead changes all the way. And literally, Matt thought he had it in the bag. And he agreed to this nose waxing for the person who loses. <laughs> and... In, like, a two-month span, he went from having a, a 750 subscriber lead to, it was like nothing. a one month. To, to nothing. Yeah, to me just passing just in time. And and as soon as I pass him back up, he shoots in front of me. But that doesn't matter because at the 10,000 point. <laughs> that's that's karma, all relevant. That's karma. <laughs> it is, dude. At the 10,000 point, I was in the lead. So now we get to wax Matt's nose. Which is that the right word? Wax. You put a bunch of wax in his nose with the little sticks, and you rip them out, and all the nose hairs come out. So. Why would anyone want that product? I mean, they've got little right. razors that you can. That's just a torture product. It. You're paying money for torture. Yeah, is that seriously for your own torture? Why wouldn't that product be on the market no other than a gag? Are we gonna like gently pull them? 
Yeah. A couple times. <laughs> I've seen some horror videos. That's where messed up. Where they can't get him out. <laughs> yes, I've seen that guy. He like ripped his skin off. Ooh. Literally, he was bleeding out his nose. His wife was pulling it and it wouldn't come out. It was stretching his meat. Like, <laughs> was stretching his meat. <laughs> hey, I guess you're supposed to leave it in there for like two minutes and she had left it for like four minutes, oh. double the time. Oh, okay. So we gotta watch that. Well, we, could, Matt, we could go six. Minutes. If Matt gets stuck and he has to go hunting with him tomorrow, that'd be pretty funny. Good content. <laughs> Can't even blow his nose for a week because it's so raw. Oh. <laughs> he has no words to say. <laughs> no, say something, Matt. Speak. I, he's just nodding his head. Uh, I, I don't know what to say, honestly. <laughs> hey, Elliot had asked you if you were nervous, and you said you weren't. Are you more nervous now? We're hyping it up. No, I'm. I'm not nervous. I'm just kind of. I'm. I'm ready to get it done and over with. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. I mean, I mean, the real torture is the anticipation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> once it's once it's done and over with, you have no power. So over you me. probably want to do it tonight, then. <laughs> it's like let's do get it over right with. Now. I don't care. <laughs> what if he starts crying and goes to his room? It's gonna go to awkward silence really we'll be fast. Awkward a little bit. Are we gonna hear Matt say a curse word? <laughs> <laughs> he started to say. Oh, no. He goes. Shh. Uh, he started. He started to say one. No. No. <coughs> no. I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. Uh, <laughs> Why are you looking at me? We were talking about. We think he pre-cleaned his nose to, so it won't be. Uh, no. You just have an abnormally unhairless nose. <laughs> <laughs> look at that. Did you look up there. There's nothing in there. It's like, my nose looks like a bear's. Well, if, stuff, if stuff's cut, like, the hairs are growing out, you know, I might take a razor on the edge and oh, okay. just trim her up. Yeah, yeah. For the tender dates. I got old oh, man nose hairs already. They're like just growing out every which way now. <laughs> yeah. An abnormally unhairless nose. <laughs> That's why you keep, I don't think I've ever heard that phrase. <laughs> he's spit it up. You think he's got a clean sniffer now? Just wait till after we <laughs> yank him out. <laughs> yeah. No, that's why you keep the mustache so it blends in. So. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah. I've I seen a lot of guys that they grow through their nose to their mustache. Just leave it. It's mm. all part of one. Curl it. Yeah. <laughs> one one of my children thought that my beard started from my nose. Up inside your nose. <laughs> and it it kind of looks out. like it. It kind of looks like <laughs> it. It does a little bit. I mean, mine kind of goes up in there. Yeah. Yeah. Sometimes I should, but yeah, they thought it grew out of that's the nose. That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> it worked its way out. Oh my goodness. All right, so let's hear about today's hunt, Matt and Jordan. All right. <laughs> Matt's, Matt's getting railed on this podcast, I guess. But uh, I know. So pick on Matt podcast. Pick, pick on Thomas. <laughs> <laughs> um, so to set, I guess to set the the baseline of this, we hadn't been seeing a lot of birds. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of birds. We haven't had <laughs> had a lot of birds come to our set. And by I haven't had any, like we had none. So finally, we had one come to our set, and it landed just out of the decoys. Um, and so we're talking about it, like, all right, let's take this, let's take this, uh, line it up, let's take it. And so um, I'm like, all right, let's double, like, let's double team this. And I thought, you know, with a little further shot, we, this is how I would have done it. We had different, um, <laughs> we didn't communicate, I guess, on it. And uh, so I go to, like, ninja mode, like, slowly stand up, aim up, aim up on the bird. And while I do this, Matt goes, hey! <laughs> Starts swinging his arms. No, I was not swinging my arms, okay? I had, both arms on, I had both arms on my gun, gun pointed at the duck. This is how I remember it. One gun in this arm all the way stretched out the other. <laughs> no, 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 not, no not, even, not even close. I am, I am uh, exaggerating a little bit. So, so when birds come in on the water and we're going to shoot them, where I hunt, we like to shoot them in the air. So we always yell we, at them. We, I think that's a you. <laughs> well, people in my group typically. But anyways. At 40 yards? <sighs> okay. <laughs> that, yeah, that that's is another a, that's thing. a key I, I detail. Felt, I felt extremely bad afterwards. I'm like, I t- and Jordan can confirm this. I was like, that was a <laughs> stupid shot because I thought it was a lot closer than that, honestly. And I was just kicking myself afterwards because... Jordan walked it off for me. Like, oh, We're all God. disappointed well, in you, man. I know. Here, here's I, know. A little I, I was kicking myself so bad, though. Here's, here's a little side note for the, the listeners and the viewers. The hunting has been slow. <laughs> Beyond words. Beyond slow. We're talking like 50 <laughs> degrees midday, not a lot of wind. <laughs> Slow, yeah, yeah. So probably, we saw, yeah, slower than slow. We saw this mallard. He comes in, just dumps in. He's probably as big as a Canada goose, honestly. I mean, he just looked huge. <laughs> Swims into the decoy spread, <laughs> and 
<laughs> George Sand. I thought I thought we were just gonna sluice him on the water. We're gonna tag team this bird. It's the only bird we saw all day. American sniper. Yeah, American sniper. <laughs> and um, extra full chucks. And 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 Matt <laughs> <laughs> Matt had other ideas. He thought that man, he had uh, uh some superpowers or something and <laughs> it was well speak of superpowers we can talk about josh's shot later here but <laughs> were you shooting your 28 yes oh my god <laughs> so we, i did we, we i did have shot cam. i did have my full choke in though we watched the shot cam in. though he showed me the shot cam literally he goes hey and he aims on the bird and the bird flies and we <laughs> can see his sick. shot hit under the bird where the bird was sitting on the water <laughs> I, oh, shot no. under, I shot under the bird <laughs> You sat where it was. You shot where, I shot it, where was. it was. Yep. So, anyways. But Jordan didn't all, hit either. All in so. good fun. All in good fun. I was just, uh, I, we we're on different different modes. I was super sneaky, trying to aim up on the bird. And yeah. Matt was jumping Jordan, up as quick as he could. Jordan thought we were turkey hunting. Hooping and hollering. No, you should have stuck your gun barrel out the little window on the panel blind. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Yeah, we were kind of hoping yeah. they were going to wrestle and fight with that one and get on video, Just, but yeah. we, we it was the first bird we had really within the decoy, so we got a little, little uh, jumpy. Mm-hmm. We what time was that I, in the I morning? Did, I did. It was like ten. 10 oh my god, nine thirty. <laughs> yeah, that happens at that point. It was yeah. I mean, we had some well, mergansers earlier, but yeah, yeah, a whole flock. But you, Jordan, got excited. I did. Jordan, Jordan shot. I didn't. Matt wouldn't even shoot me. I wouldn't even shoot at him. I would. I'm not it wasting. Hooded. No, so they were out. like common or red breasted. I yeah. still want to shoot a common. And we needed something for the the challenge, though the cook off. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh my god! Uh, no thanks. Hey, we, 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 would, we would get an extra charge for the latent smell in the kitchen. I guarantee oh, you. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, we'll talk about our hunt today, Thomas. Uh, we set up in an awesome looking spot. That we uh, got a pin from Elliot and went trekking off through the woods and found this beautiful little slough back in the woods and. Sat there until 8.30, saw all the four ducks, and uh, we were hearing some shooting out on the main pool, so we decided to make the trek out there and uh, spent the rest of well, We went and got some Casey's Pizza. Which that was I w- delicious. I would say that was your first time? It was my first time. I, I was, <laughs> Let was me say this good. real quick. I actually had hunted here three years ago, mm-hmm. um, but it was flooded corn at the time. And I we talked to some guys coming out, and they said it was it's w- always way better there when there's flooded corn. Mm-hmm. But now it was... Um, my mind's going blank. Smart, smart weed. Small, the, everything was smart weed. Mm-hmm. Like everything. And uh, anyways, it was it was awesome last time we were there. It's not that we did awesome because that's a long story. But yeah, so it was the same. But it was kind of nice going somewhere I actually had been. Like I had confidence. Like I remember seeing a lot of birds. Yeah, it was. I'm sorry. It was two years ago. But it was still like at least it's a familiar place I've seen in the mm-hmm. daytime. Not where everywhere is new every time. It's just like I've never been here. I don't know what it looks like. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> so it was kind of cool. So we were going to go to the spot that we had seen a lot of birds. That's where I was going to go. And then Elliot had mentioned, like, why don't you try this out? And he showed me some videos. And I was like, that looks awesome because it, you know, just reminds me of something. It's something I've never done, a style. And so it was a cool little walk back in there. We actually had a deer hunter walk right through, right, like, really? 50 yards from us. We- and he just stood there and stared at us for a moment. I'm like, go on. <laughs> we we're here. Yes, we're duck hunters. Just keep walking. <laughs> and we saw those otters were still there. Really? Or the... Yeah. yeah. No, it was uh two otters. It yeah, was two otters. otters. It was really that's, cool. That's pretty rare in Canada. I got really good footage yeah. in too. They've moved into this side of the state, eastern side of the state. I've only seen Sweet. one in my life. The, yeah, there was a pair of them swimming, oh, around, that's swimming fantastic. around. It was all cool. Morning. Awesome. I got a really good video of them. Stuff. And the one that's I saw right. was at a distance. It was on the Kansas River. Yeah, these. And I these saw it, and I was like, "What is that?" These and things they, were swimming up like thirty yards from us. Oh, that's that was that was cool. Yeah, that's cool. Have you ever seen one? Yeah, I've seen beavers. Yeah, but the otters are scratch. Yeah, I was zoomed in. You can see the whiskers on their face. They were so close. But yeah, that 20-power zoom I, I won't see that. was cool. Oh. <laughs> but anyways, go ahead. We're, we end up coming out, getting Casey's Pizza. Yeah. And I uh, went and we <laughs> rode around. That, that complex has a bunch of different pools. Mm-hmm. So we went and checked, like, I think every pool on the complex. Literally. Talked to multiple different groups of hunters, and no one was having much success. A couple guys said it was the worst they had seen all season there. Day, yeah, the yeah, worst day. Worst go day figure. <laughs> And uh, apparently, all the shooting we had heard was there's a little private piece up there that has flooded that has flooded corn on it. And that's where all the shooting was coming from. So, yeah. 
Because it was funny because everyone kept saying, was we he? talked to somebody and they're like, where was I shooting at? They're like, over there. <laughs> and it was always northwest. So we kept working our way that way and come find out everything from that flooded corn private <laughs> property. So I was like, okay, there you go. But that is a, a beautiful complex there. And that's some, <laughs> definitely a place, you know, I'm happy that we checked out. And yeah, you know, if I sure. ever get to do more traveling, and now I got it in my back pocket as a place that I kind of have my bearing with. So mm-hmm. I'm definitely glad we went there. Oh, um, yeah, for sure. And had a good time with Titus. It's a cool looking place, yeah. What about you guys? We went to Cheyenne Bottoms, the biggest inland marsh in North America. Yeah, continental U.S. Uh, I think. What, yeah, what I've heard is lower forty-eight is what lower forty-eight t- people typically say. But there's some yeah. flats. In it, may be, it's it's it may be North America. It's huge. It's massive. I wish you guys came. So you yeah. can see it. Like the first time I saw the bottoms, I was like, "Wow!" Mm-hmm. Like it takes your breath away of all the huntable water out there. It's just unreal. But you know, we, we kind of went in blind. We rolled up to the boat ramp about 6.30, 30 minutes before shooting hours. And we just kind of looked at the boat ramp, see where all the trucks were. And we're like, oh, there's only one truck here. We're not going to really mess with anybody. Drop it in here at this time. And motored in there. I thought we went farther than we did, but we did not go as far as I wanted to. Yeah, we set up right by the road, basically. <laughs> like, <laughs> like yeah, this massive marsh that goes on forever, and we set up right by the road. <laughs> like, but it, it's so easy. But to we're get flushing ducks around. like crazy. Oh man! So I mean, once you start flushing ducks, a lot of times, yeah. It's like, hey, Let's stay here. I mean, we saw thousands flushing mm. out with the motor, and uh, we set up in one spot. We had the boat in the spread. We were getting the kayaks ready. Just set the spread up, like. Final touches and a group of five mallards start circling and working and working and working. And they were about to do that final little dump in to shoot. And uh, somebody else was shooting and they flared off, which that was kind of a bummer. So we waited that out for a couple hours. And about 9, 30, 10 o'clock or so, we made a little switch out to some more open water. And usually about that time out there, people start leaving. And so they kick up ducks, and we got fortunate enough to have a group of bluebills fly in right into the decoys. Elliot can tell you about that one. Yeah, they were just, I mean, the thing that's so cool about (coughs) most of what we shoot here is puddle ducks. But so when we get a little pack of divers that are right off the water coming right at you, I mean, they just kind of look like little rockets coming right Mm -hmm. to you, you know, and. Josh was getting really verbally excited <laughs> about it. It was here's kind the of, come, here's the come, on the deck. Here's here's the come, come, right okay, the decoys. Get ready, get, get ready. He was like <laughs> really, really excited. So uh, they came through, and we each dropped one of those, um, and which was, I mean, that was by far the closest thing that we had. It, nothing had really even. Hey, that's the know. first two limits of the day. Yeah, because you can only shoot one. <laughs> so we limited <laughs> on bluebills, and that's only the second bluebill that I've shot in like the last 10 years. That's we my second one on the season. Really? Yeah, yeah, because we don't see them very often. I shot one last year with Jordan, and then this mm. one—they were both hens. But, but we were really excited to get those birds. But um, someone had gotten up with uh, and were leaving the marsh, and so with their boat, they had scared a bunch of ducks up. So, um, we had about a what f- 10, 15 minute activity period during that time. I'd say it was thirty minutes from those blue bills when we saw a lot of ducks flying. Yeah, yeah. So then a little bit later, we had um, a couple <coughs> pintails coming right towards us. And they were, what do you think, 30 yards 30, up? 30, 35. Yeah. They were, they were checking out the spread pretty hard. But they were coming right to us, and they got to a certain point. And I told Jess, I've never seen ducks react. It looked like, you know how, like, if your wife comes in and you scare her, or, like, a kid or something, they look <laughs> like they're going to have a heart attack? <laughs> I, that's what it looked like. These two pintails came up, and they saw us, and they, like, they flinched. They twitched. <laughs> and, uh, and when they did that, they kind of skated off to Josh's side, and he took his first shot, missed it. Second shot, I could see this puff of feathers, and I was like, feathers. He took the third shot, and we're debating how far the third shot was, <laughs> which, I mean, you've got a wounded bird. You see, Once you see feathers, you yeah, empty your gun. Yeah, yeah. It doesn't matter how far it is, you empty your gun. And uh, I, I'm estimating the third shot with his 20 gauge was like 60 yards. <laughs> and he actually, with that 20 gauge, which I know you've taken a little heat from idiots on YouTube about your 20 gauge. <laughs> oh, yeah. Which 20 gauge is a viable weapon to use. And yep. Historically, I mean... So shut up, YouTube people. Um, <laughs> and he broke the wing, and it, I swear it was like 60 yards. And this thing just dropped out of the sky. Like, it just kept falling and falling. <laughs> I bet you it was at least 100 yards Drake from Pintel. us. Drake Pintel. Drake Pintel. It was a pretty one. just didn't have a didn't have a, a, a pin to it. But Did you mess the meat up? <clears throat> I don't know what happened. It didn't mess up? 
I think they probably the skirted cat. underneath then because it looked like it was torn out on the side. Huh? Well, see, I don't know because Georgie was gnawing it a little bit, but she's never actually broken mm-hmm. skin open when she's done that. Mm-hmm. But she had to have done a little bit of damage. Or is the so cattails? Do you think maybe it hit yeah. the water so Could have been a oh, cattail. Actually, yeah. If it's falling it will, and there's a hole in it, it'll split it. just Because it was right off where the wing was broken. Yeah. It was that same. Yeah, it might have been that because we had that happen a couple times this year where they just hit the water so hard it takes basically the skin right off the mm-hmm. breast. Yeah, I, I'm sure. I, I'm sure the GoPro got it. It's a mat, but it's going to be a tiny little speck. <laughs> it's going it's to be a speck falling. So, uh, Georgie and I got clear over there. It, it worked it was, its way into some cattails, and she found it. It was fun to watch you trying to work her on that long retrieve too. Yeah, it wasn't. It was more fun for you than it was for me. Well, you were out I there said, walking around over this way, and she'd go over that way. <laughs> no, but just I know the way you hunt. You're you're dropping birds within thirty yards from the blind most yeah. of the time, and seeing her get on one of her first long retrieves, mm-hmm. it was kind of mm-hmm. interesting seeing her. She knew where that bird was when it landed. Yeah, absolutely. She was heading straight for it, and then the bird kind of started swimming, and you stopped her and tried to redirect her. Yeah, because she lost it, and she was... Mm-hmm. She was kind of looking, 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 and you're like, okay, whistle, 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 over, and she's like, I'm going to go this way. Yeah. <laughs> no, it's not <laughs> where you bird. say I'm going to go this way. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, when I was excited when it hit because I, wa- I looked at her and I could tell she saw it. Mm-hmm. And it was shallow water, so I'm like, oh, she's going to show off her speed on this one. Yeah, yeah. So I was really excited. And I got, I got, the, I haven't seen the footage yet, but I got the video of her going. And uh, she got out there about 75% of the way and she just lost mm-hmm. track of the mm-hmm. bird. And she, she, uh, she's done longer retrieves than that in a field on dry ground, mm-hmm. never in the water. So I don't know if she lost her confidence or just visually couldn't see it, but. All of a sudden, she was like, uh, where did this thing go? Where'd it go? I think in part of it, too, like I've noticed with the Rocky, they get used to a distance, like you were saying, mm-hmm. that how far it usually is. And once they start getting so far past that, you know, then they're like, like you said, they're like, mm-hmm. okay, I should have ran into something now. Did I mess up? Yeah. And they'll turn around and like start looking a little bit, or they'll start searching through the weeds. Mm-hmm. So I've seen the same thing with Rocky, too. This is wide open water. I, w- I really thought that she was just going to go. Bam on it, mm-hmm. and so I was. I was. You thought she seen it hit the water. Didn't? I know she did because I looked really? right over, and she's just <clears throat> she, for her only twenty hunts. She marks really, really oh, well. Yeah. I mean, she, and she was just like, and her line was straight on it. She was going straight for it, but <laughs> it was it was swimming off, and she yeah. just lost. For some, and it was down low with you know with its little head down. It was little, you know the little yeah, bobbing yeah. the head right across the top of the water, skirting around. Mm-hmm. But when when she got into the weeds with that bird, I was over where we were hunting. I could just see her tail. Up That's in the cool. air, just she's mm-hmm. birdie. She's real birdie. She smells it. She's on it, and I'm like, she found it. Yeah, yeah. So I was happy about that. This is her twentieth hunt, and I don't like I was saying on the video I made. I'm not sure how good her nose is. I know in the yard when I do drills with her, her nose seems like it's fantastic. But there's been a couple of retrieves this year. I've been surprised. Um, one I was out where Aiden actually visibly saw it, and she had been in the area, and so. There's been some signs of like, well, maybe her nose isn't that good. And um, so I'm not sure of that of her, but she did a great job. She found it. She tracked it. It was still alive. And so I was really, I was certainly happy about that. So when, when you got up to the bird, um, were you close enough to see it? Did you see it no. in there? No, I didn't see it. I was, I was watching her body language like you because mm-hmm. she worked in one area and then she kept working. And then I, you just like say, so you see that tail. And you see that, and you're like, okay, yeah, she's on it. Mm-hmm. Yeah, like Rob's dog when we're quail hunting, <coughs> side to side as a mouse, up in the air, tight circles as quail. Really? Uh-huh. <laughs> but the dog's tail got ran over by a horse trailer last really? year. Really? Yeah. Mm-hmm. I didn't know so that. So it's all limp now. Oh, I had no idea. So that kind of sucks. sucks. All right, let's talk about what we were talking about today earlier about you guys were asking that question about yeah. grind to grind, we're, whatever. I, I, we're curious because we were going back and forth on this, on what it was. He's, and, and Elliot's a teacher, so yeah, this will help. I'd like yeah. to know his. So when you say, you know, like we're grinding, we're grinding it out, what is the past tense version of that? Would it be grinded or ground? ground? ground. See, I'm, with, ground. I'm saying ground. Ground beef. But nobody says that is what I'm saying. It's like slang. But put it in the terms you were telling me so today. Because so that don't, it don't I sound was. right. Yeah, no. You'd probably use the, the you was probably. So Jordan, yeah, I yeah. was grinding. Yeah, yeah. It out. And my wife caught me. Well, this is... <laughs> <laughs> oh, this, this is the terminology Sorry. Jordan... <laughs> That's just what Jordan said. This is coming from a third grade teacher. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Jordan was saying. He no, said, I didn't say it. You said no, it. No, you said this. Okay, what I say? You were like, you wouldn't say I was... I, I gr- had this girl ground on me at the club last night. <laughs> <laughs> You'd say she was grinding yeah, on that's me. Not, okay, the yeah. So, but the way it started was... He says, we've already ground 
We hard this. We this, ground hard this this, this week or this, this, this collab. Yeah. See, that don't sound right. And I no, didn't even know what he, right. I didn't even know what he meant. I'm like ground. Like what are you even talking about? <laughs> we've been grinding. Yeah, we've been grinding. All right. Yeah. So yeah, it's all about how you. I think that's technically correct, though. That's, that's what, what I'm what, saying. We, I'm saying it's technically correct, but it's not. It sounds how, weird. Nobody it sounds says weird. Like yeah, it's no one. Throw it in Grammarly and see how it does. I've never actually used that. Okay, so Matt's been taking a lot of abuse. I'm gonna let's turn it back on Jordan just for a second. Jordan, <laughs> if you put a, uh, a a set of questions on the Duck Gun Podcast um, Fellowship of the Duck Guns, what is that called? A pool. A pool. A pool. He says pool. A pool. It's a pool. No, I said pool. He, it's he, still it's it's say, say, pool. Pool. say it again. Say, say it again. It again. <laughs> a pool. Uh, that was a pool. A pool. Okay. Okay. I think now you're trying to say pull. Yeah, no, but he still didn't say it right though. He yeah, said pull. No, yeah. That's, yeah. That's funny because I was literally saying that's what I said. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're, I said it. Pull. Every time he pull. says the word pull, it's always pull. Yeah. My wife noticed it mm, a while back, funny. and I've heard it like so. And I'm like, he does. must be an Indiana thing. Oh, he says, yeah. Pool. I've been picking Guilty beard hairs out of charged. his mic right here, like, tickling me. In the Not <laughs> much of a slamming on Jordan. Sorry. That, was that wasn't. That, we like, need more than that. Let's that get some. Fell, fell kind of flat. <laughs> let's get some for Titus. This is his podcast. Yeah. No, Slam let's, me. Let's go back Gross to Titus. Here. So I was working some mallards yesterday. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they kind of split up or doing their own thing, but still circling and working. I was waiting for the perfect opportunity for both of us to have a shooting opportunity. <laughs> oh. <laughs> One whoa, comes whoa. in over Jordan's shoulder. I don't see it. Lands in the spread. <laughs> I'm still working like two or three, and they're kind of working, working. I'm waiting for that shot so both of us can shoot, right? <laughs> He's on this bird. <laughs> yeah. He's, He's got a his, mark on it. <laughs> He's probably got his safety off at this point, just ready. <laughs> and so I'm working, working, calling, 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 pulling the, pull, pulling the motion ducks. And, uh, pow. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, <laughs> no. <laughs> there's there's, there's yeah. two sides He's to the story. He's all got him. <laughs> there's two sides, there's like, two sides to the story. All right. So I had said there's one in the decoys, and I didn't realize he didn't hear me. So we're sitting like 10 yards apart. He's to the right of me. I'm to the left. This thing came over my left shoulder and landed in the decoys. And we're working this group of what, like 10, something like that? It was like four or five. Okay, it felt like 10. Um, but <laughs> Indiana standards. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, not untrue. Everything but, uh, doubles. <laughs> yep. Anyways, so I told him that I, I'm like, if this one gets up, I'm going to shoot. But you didn't even know. I said, uh, the next shootable shot, we're going to take it. Because they were kind of swinging around us. Yeah, so the thing was, you didn't know the one was in the decoys, or else you just would have had a shot. Well, the thing is, we had a group, you know, they were probably 25 crossing over in front of us, which we could have shot. We'd done that a couple times that day. But they were just acting like they were going to just dump at one point. You know, you work mallards long enough, they look, they look, they look, and then they just full-on wingtips touch, and they dump. So here's the, here's the question then. So um, for me, if I ever have one land in the decoys, I don't let it get out. Like if it if it gets up to fly away, I'm like the other ones aren't going to follow it. He he got in the decoys, and when he flies away, the rest aren't going to finish. That's my experience and my thoughts. So we never let one get away. We'll let him land, and we'll try to work the other ones in there because he sat there for 20 seconds. And when he picked up, that's when I sat up and shot him. Every bird that Jordan shot that day, I was thinking to myself, "Don't be banded. <laughs> <laughs> don't be banded. <laughs> don't be banded." <laughs> But that, I mean, so... I'm not mad about it. I'm just giving crap. Yeah, no, I, I understand that. But as far as, like, a theory, like, as as far as... I mean, is that what everybody else does? Or if you have a group working of birds, one lands in the decoys, when he picks up, do you shoot that one or you try to finish the other birds still working? I wouldn't, I wouldn't say that's a bad thing, really, honestly, because, yeah, they yeah. might have not come in after that. How many times have you worked birds and you're like, next pass? Next pass. And then you don't get, Next you get a shot. So, yeah, then you shot. see him flying over the trees <laughs> out by the sun. And you're like, yeah, I should have shot. Should have shot. Yep. I just did that the other day when we were in Washington. We we had two working. They were cupped up, coming right down over top of the trees right before we were getting ready to shoot. I was my turn to shoot. Six more, and they were all drakes were right behind him, probably 40 yards. <laughs> what do you think I'm going to do? Wait for the bear group. So we can all three shoot. Uh-huh. What do they do? The two come right in range. Go out of range, the six fell off, and we never got nothing. Yeah, nope. you know it happens every time. It's uh-huh. like you do gotta take your opportunity. So I can't fault you on that. And that was that was my limit. So mm. <laughs> I was a little selfish. Yeah, and I'm over there with three mallards. 
Yeah. Um, I think that's generally a good rule. But yeah. I think it also depends on the day and the action. But I've, yeah. I've heard that rule, and we, we typically tend to follow that rule. Let yeah, because you didn't mention that head killing. jumped up. I thought he sluiced him on the water. No, so no, 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 it no. jumping off actually jumped, makes a but difference. But the thing is, every group of birds <laughs> came in at the set. Everything that came in. The problem was is that you didn't hear it. He was communicating with yeah, you, and you I, didn't hear it. I just it. didn't and hear it. That, yeah. that he was, was probably talking Because with two guys, that's what you you communicate. I'm going to take this. And he says, I was, no, no, that's Maybe right. I was calling, and you said yeah, something real been. soft. Or I was just super focused on the birds. My yeah. wife gets this all the time. I'm focused on one thing. I can't <laughs> hear her. So, <laughs> well, the, you know. the thing was, you literally had shots. Like, I was like, all right, he's going to shoot him here. He's going to shoot him here. So and they worked right over your head. And no, he didn't shoot. And, like, that happened twice. So, if I knew you had that bird... And you were going to shoot that bird up and like, okay, cool. I'm going to take this 20-yard yeah. chip it shot. It was just communications uh-huh. all of us. Yeah. 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 I think Josh has come a long way over the last five, six years with this shot selection. <laughs> so I don't think five, six years ago you'd – I thought you were going to shoot and he didn't. I, th- I don't think that would have happened. So – You've come – I, th- I, think I mean, that happens with a, I think you're in a transition stage. It came from me switching over to hunting with four or five guys at a time to going to solo hunting. Mm-hmm. And I think my success rate has gone <coughs> way up from that just with public land. And uh, I just have gotten to a point this year. You know, <laughs> last year and years prior, it came down to the videos. It's like I get in this mindset where I have to shoot birds. I have to shoot a lot of birds. People want to see limits. And if I don't shoot limits, I'm going to be upset. And it's going to get me down. And so this year, just kind of, I don't know what's gotten into me, but it hasn't bothered me. Mm-hmm. It is what it is. It's, mm-hmm. it's hunting. If I shoot two spoonies on opening day, that was great. That was eh, fun. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> you should have seen that video. Though, I take two spoonies right now. But like, <laughs> yeah. just like getting. You to know, I will. <laughs> <laughs> just like getting to that point where you're just happy with, you know, the one or two groups that come in, and you're not discouraging yourself. I didn't shoot my Well, that's to, to me, that's the thing on this whole trip. We walked in the first night. The first night we all got here, mm-hmm. and that was the first thing we talked about. If we shoot two or three apiece on these hunts, that would be great. Like, that's we're, we all agreed on that. Everybody was like, yeah, that's perfect, you know? We'll have a good time. And so we didn't come in here with these crazy, we're going to shoot limits and, mm-hmm. you know, whatever like that. We weren't even worried about that. It was like just getting to hang out, spend some time together. Mm-hmm. Me and Elliot had a good time. Me and Thomas had a good time. And it's like, but then when you just, it's just nothing. You still get in the good part of the fellowship and stuff like that. Yeah. But it's just like, yeah, can we get one? Yeah, yeah. Like, I just want one. <laughs> yeah. I'll take a Merganser. Yeah. Like, yeah. like <laughs> that's that's not really hard to can we just get just one at 45 a coop. loose on the water? I didn't even see a coot. <laughs> I know your heart's broken, Matt. I know. I saw some coots today. Yeah, we saw some coots today. In range? No. See? Mm. I called at him, though. I would I would knock the snot out of a coot right now. It's <laughs> a full <laughs> joke, dude. Just watch a Tyus. black cloud just go into oblivion. Have you Have you shot at all? I shot at a cripple of Elliot's on... <laughs> okay, other than, other than shooting. And then we had a golden eye hen come through, yeah. and I shot three shots at her. That's it. Mm. That was the first day. Well, good to know you shoot. I shot it. I shot. I was it. worried about. I was like, man, I don't think Titus has even fired a shell off yet. <laughs> Matt hasn't. Yeah. No, well, I didn't. Oh, yeah. Besides, the, <laughs> uh, <laughs> he got coerced. Yeah. <laughs> he was sleeping on that part I, of it, Matt. I Sorry. literally told Jordan afterwards. I'm like, if that happens again, just you shoot him on the water. I don't care. I'm not <laughs> shooting though. <laughs> I'd have better luck, but. But like you said, wait until nine thirty ten. It's like you're. That's, Things well, change in your brain a yeah. little bit. And we yeah, were yeah. up, we we're coming up against a barrier today because it was game day. So kickoff <laughs> eleven a.m. Well, that's a, why it was a barrier for Matt. <laughs> did it's, they win? They did win. So that's the second win of the season, and this was a winnable <laughs> game. So I really wanted. To They're two and ten. He's <laughs> <laughs> <Just laughs> talking about Nebraska Cornhuskers, if anyone's yeah. not so, sure. Yeah, I think it's kind of funny. Uh, the past two days, I've been hunting still. While I'm getting Marco Polos from you guys, like, oh, we're getting food and we're at the gas station or whatever. I'm like, you guys packed up? We're shooting birds. <laughs> yeah. We wrote it out. Titus and I wrote it out. Yeah, you yeah. guys did good. You guys went on a scout, too. Yeah. That was, I will say, our hunt yesterday. So Titus and I started, we hunted a main lake, and we had, um, I've got our big boat with us. And if we had had a couple groups, but that whole day was very enjoyable. Running mm-hmm. the lake was yeah. fun. 
It was the cool. Sun, the I sunrise was, was cool. Seeing all those birds, thousands yeah. of those birds. We that was incredible. We kicked thousand off the main lake. Incredible. And, and running the lake like that. It was a Got memorable some sweet day. sweet B-roll, too, of you. Yeah. With your a, yeah. <laughs> glorious beard and <clears throat> glorious gray beard and just <laughs> should turn out very well. That mm-hmm. boat hauls. Yeah. It was cooking. You should be cooking. Maybe it was in the dark. I thought it was going super fast, but. I think it goes every bit of 24. Five? I don't know, but like yeah. being in my little little lake. Oh boat, yeah, just compared putzing, to what, yeah, just putzing. <laughs> that thing gets up on plane. We ran it no, what yeah. oh five six <laughs> inches of water today. I, I think it was in four. It was on plane in four. Once inches you get of that water. thing wow. up, we ran it, and you can just run it. And we we didn't even know it was that shallow Mm-mm. until wow. we Stopped. until we slowed it down. And like you could you almost if you slowed it down, you had to actually one time we had to get out and pull it. Mm. Once you get it up on plane, it's crazy. How shallow it'll go mm-hmm. and stay at full speed. Yeah. I was thinking, man, we're going to have to walk this boat out of here. Yeah, we, um, we did a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> Not no. the whole way. Then you just see the, the little boat laying out there. You're like, oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I had that happen at the bottoms another time where uh, the battery for the starter on the motor died. And I was like, and this was on my buddy's boat. He's got two long tails. On his boat, hooked up to one little mm. handle. Wow. It's, it's pretty cool. Yeah. But um, one of the motors didn't have a pull string to start it. It broke off or something, so they have the electronic start. But the other motor had a pull string. So I was like, doesn't this have a pull string? Oh, yeah. Rip it, and we're we're putzing out of there. I mean, this is a big boat with a big blind on it. But At least you got it. Just going, I mean, we probably went two miles into that pool I'm thinking, we got to walk this thing out. Mm-hmm. It's Shine Bottoms, you can go two miles into a pool. Holy That's what's so cool about that place. Mm. Yeah. You get way back up in there. Do you know how many acres it is? It's like 40. Or how many square miles? 5,000 45, square okay. miles or well, square. I don't know. Uh, not miles. No. Acres. I don't I don't know exactly, but it's it's huge. Yeah, not square miles. You can get lost be, out there. Makes well, Google no, Jordan. you did say, you said acres at first, and I asked you how many miles. Square miles, but do we have anything else to cover? We want to cover in this. Check that fact, Jordan. I will. I, I Are do you going to on exit I, right now and <laughs> measure it? I will Google it, but uh, I do want to <laughs> circle back to the the hunt me and Josh went on um, because that that hunt was, I mean, for me it was it was awesome. I mean, it was your first layout hunt. First layout hunt. We both shot awesome. The the mallards just worked in like crazy. Um, I don't know. Super memorable hunt for me. First time cool. I've ever shot a five mallard limit. Um, I, I will mention did lose a hen, unfortunately. Um, I think it just dove on us, but every bird was finishing and, uh, <laughs> Josh doesn't think so. I watched the GoPro footage again. It was in that, in that, uh, it was? yep, it was in there. So it literally hit the water and just, you never saw it again. You can see it on the GoPro. So, mm-hmm. uh, it's like it almost went under and there's ice. So maybe it went under the ice. I don't know. Uh, but we never found that mallard. You worked chief for like 30 minutes trying to find that thing. I, yeah, I worked. Yeah, and he's got a good nose, so yeah. if he was anywhere around it. I worked chief in my butt off. And after that, both of me and chief were exhausted. Cause, <laughs> I mean, we worked every strip trying to find that bird. Um, but, yeah, we couldn't find it. But besides that, that hunt was just freaking, I mean, it was awesome. Mm-hmm. It's good. It was, I want to say that it, after my scout, I knew it was going to be good. But I didn't think the birds were going to work in like that. Yeah. And oh, it was so cool. With that many groups. It was so cool. Bl- bright blue skies. <laughs> and we're laying there in our back. And the birds would just come over and our the back. Sun, the sun was behind us, too. Uh-huh. Oh, nice. So you could see the white little strips on their wings, the green mm-hmm. head. Mm-hmm. Oh, That's cool. Man, it was awesome. Oh, yeah. That'd be like, nice. You guys can't wait Let's to see, see some of this, this footage of these birds just, like, dipping in. And, I mean, like, we had one group of, like, 20 and they dipped like they they came up and they just dipped hard and swooped right in front of us, and then they ended up coming up about twenty yards away. Then it wasn't a perfect perfect finish, but they finished on my side. You didn't get a shot at them, unfortunately. But that was when you shot the yeah, two. Yeah, that's when I shot the two. So yeah, I oh, was, that's cool. It doubled though. I yeah. saw. I was uh, I was just watching them and they, they worked us probably six, seven, eight times, and they gave us a a good low pass. I knew I didn't have a shooting opportunity. But I just said, Jordan, shoot those. <laughs> and I, I pull up, and I pull up. I had a shootable shot on a hen, but I didn't want to put five bucks in the hen jar. So <laughs> uh, I just let that one go. Who's leading that, by the way? We both we both have five bucks in. That's it. All right, yeah. We've been showing, you know, uh, selective shots yeah, on them. So. That's all that's been. <laughs> just 
That was a fun one. If I would have seen a hen today. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I would have loved to put $5 yeah. in that jar. <laughs> Everybody would have put 10 in yeah. today, I think. Yeah. <laughs> for sure. Yeah. So well, what's what do you on, got? Uh, well, what's on tap for tomorrow? Sounds like a pretty good little goose hunt. So is it just going to be us and Levi, or mm-hmm. that'll, be f- that'll be fun? All six of us hunting together. That's going to be fun. It'll be really cool. Yeah. Sham Bottoms, 41,000 acres. 41,000, you're close. close. Mm-hmm. Well, close. we've had that on the our podcast. We've had the manager on a couple times. Mm-hmm. Really. And you sh- you got you might think about getting him on your podcast. He's really interesting. That'd, that'd be interesting great. Interesting guy. I'm always looking for more guests. It's Kansas. But. Yeah, <laughs> I still interesting talking about that stuff. He was a good guest. Mm. Uh, what was someone just Goose saying? Hunt. Goose, Goose hunt. hunt. Goose Hunt. Yeah, got a decent little looking farm pond for geese on it, so... It's going to be fun because we're all going to be kind of doing something different as far as mm-hmm. filming pictures, dogs, what else? Yeah. It'll be Bands. Guns. Bands. It'll be unique guns. for the, the flyways, Me and Matt too. got the 20s. What are you well, using? I'm not using the 20. Oh, the 28? I'm using the 28. Okay, that's good. I'm so, going to be very selective. <coughs> Get those oh, of course. Hating. Yeah. So, 28 gauge. I'm using a 20. What are you using? I haven't decided. Either I, th- I think I'll probably shoot my twenty. I've been shooting it good, so yeah. What about you, Thomas? You got the twelve. Yeah, but I'm gonna run the camera most of the time unless y'all. You're not shoot. gonna shoot. He's unless y'all shoot lens. limits, I'm gonna I'm gonna try and get a bunch of footage. All right. So you may not shoot at all. I'll bring it, but yeah, I'm unless y'all are unless there's a good opportunity. You haven't heard he's just a full time cameraman now. Yeah, <laughs> he says he loves it. There you I go. Do. Yeah. Can we try to get a goose to hit you in the head again? Yeah, we can. I'll go out there and stand in the spread and you all can. I honestly would be willing to take that hit on myself, too. I'll just fall it around and put my head out there. <laughs> oh, oh yeah, yesterday. Uh, Touchdown. I shot, I shot a mallard right straight above me. And I shot it. I saw it fold up. I'm looking at Jordan shooting. I'm like, I didn't hear a splash. <laughs> Bink. And then sploosh. <laughs> Like two feet away from my blind, like it almost landed. I was in my so kayak. hurt. <laughs> Imagine having a mallard land in your lap after shooting. <laughs> right, just. I would love that. Mm. Oh cool. man, that would have that would have been such a clickbait <laughs> thing. Yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. Jordan, yeah nice. I'm not sure if you want the uh, goose in the head. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from experience. Is that why you're sleeping so much? Dude, yeah. and they say that's what causes that a lot. Being very tired. Less hard goose to the head. <laughs> the, con- the concussion I've had for the you past two years. Goose, what will goose the head do to you? Like symptoms? <laughs> I, don't say that right there. I don't know if you want to Google that. Yeah. No, talk, to you, talk to your doctor about. Duck or I'll, I'll try to catch one. Like dive uh-huh. as dive and catch into the water. I'd be willing to do that. All right, well, guys, thanks for tuning in. It's it's been a blast. We're having fun up here. We're on day two right now. We got a few more days to go and. Uh, it's really been a blast getting to know everybody. And so check out their channels, everybody's channels. I think you guys know. I actually mentioned them at the beginning. So check that out. Plus, check out the Flyways Collective YouTube channel. Go subscribe there. We're gonna, we're having content that's basically behind-the-scenes stuff, stuff that's not going to be on our channel. So I think you guys will really enjoy it. And uh, we're going to do a lot better. We've, we're going to be having a lot of content come out there, stuff you won't even miss. Is that one video, Matt, going to be on that? Or yeah. is that going to be on? No, I think it's going to be, gonna be on the flyways. Perfect. Yeah. You're gonna, that'll, that'll, and we're all going to push it out on our channels, too, so you guys will see it pop up in our yeah. um, community post or something like that. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in, guys, and we'll see you on the next one.